What is up, family, friends, loved ones? Today's video, well, I'm tinting the windshield on the Jeep. I've already done it, but it's hot out here. I'm hot physically and mentally. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and we'll talk about it. Okay, fam, I'm back. Look over me. I'm out of breath. I'm fat. I'm hot. It's 96 degrees, and I decided to tint this windshield. That's a whole different subject for a different day. I realize this content, long form videos, generally isn't what I'm about to talk about. So, first off, let's take a let's take a look at this. Yes, I did tint the windshield. Done it 35%. Looks good. Had some leftover tinting from the Silverado where I just done the drop strip. So I thought, you know what? Let's darken this up a little bit more. So that's what I've done. But anyways, getting back to what we were getting ready to discuss. I put out a short, as many of you know, a couple days ago called Jason Aldean Trickery. And in that I'd explained how, no, I haven't personally listened to the song, but I'm not a huge Jason Aldean fan. And it came out in May and how I believe that all of this has been a ploy, a plot, if you will, with him and his, his record label to push his album. Well, when I said that and I put that out there, I've been called every single name under the sun. And that's all well and good. I can take all that. But what bothers me the most is people, people believe this. People actually believe that Jason Aldean's gonna come to their house and have a picnic, have a party. He wouldn't piss on your grave if you was to die tomorrow. The man does not care to anything about you. He doesn't even know who you are. I, I mean, it's cool that you, you know, defend him and, and do all this, and I get it. And I hear the song is great. And I'm not downing the song. I've not even heard the song. If it happens to pop up on my radio while I'm, you know, riding, or if I'm in the Jeep with the tops out, or whatever the case may be, and it comes on, I'll give it a chance. But listen, if you guys don't listen to some sort of music and a controversy comes on about it, do you go check it out? I don't because I don't play into that. If Tupac was still alive and he come out with another album and it was controversial about white guys, I'm not going to go check it out. I'm just not. Now, if it happens to play, I'll listen to it. But why should I go give that man the clicks, the shares, the likes and make him richer? That doesn't make any sense to me, but to a lot of people, a lot of people took what I said seriously. A lot of people took what I said to heart and it has been nuts. The comments have been out of control and it's just, uh, I generally don't let things get to me like that, but, and I'm still not to that point. It's, I just can't believe people are that stupid to really believe that. I mean, if it was your brother, you know, that I was talking about. And I didn't even really say anything bad. I didn't say anything bad about Jason Aldean or the song. I'm just saying it, it's a trickery. You and I all, we all played into it. The song has been out since May. Nobody's heard anything about it until this controversy started. Once this controversy started, the push for his album, the push for this song automatically started getting attention. Then all of a sudden the CMT canceled. Nonsense, can you guys really not see how things are playing out here with this. And this is not the first time. Look at Miranda Lambert. Miranda Lambert's doing the exact same thing with the whole, oh, taking a picture, taking a selfie while I'm singing. I'm gonna stop right here for a sec, Danny, I'm sorry. These girls are worried about the selfie and not what's in the song. It's pissing me off a little bit. You are getting played and you're falling right into it. You can get mad at me if you want. You can unsubscribe from me if you want because I don't want those kind of people here. I want free thinkers who can understand what's going on in life. And people have called me Antifa. People have called me racist. People have called me a liberal. You know, you call all these people these things, including myself, but do you really know what the meaning of all this stuff is? I really don't think you do. 
I think it's just words that you vomit out of your mouth. That's exactly what it is, is vomit. It's regurgitated because somebody else said it and you decide that you're gonna say it too. You don't even know what it means. You absolutely don't know what the true meaning of any of this is, especially racism. You don't know what that is. You just spew it and spout it. That's all you're doing. And I realize this is a car channel, motorcycle and all of that. But guys, my shorts are also, they're everywhere. They're, they're controversial, apparently. I mean, I don't mean for them to be that way, but apparently they sort of come out that way. And if they do, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to change who or what I am because you don't like it personally. And I know this doesn't go for everybody that's subscribed to my channel. I realize this. And, and you don't even have to watch this video if you don't want to, but it's, it's just nonsense. It gets on my nerves that people doesn't have enough mind about them to free think that they have to think because somebody else, they want to use somebody else's thoughts or somebody else's regurgitation. It's just, it's, it blows my mind. I put out a part two and I tried to explain myself even more because you can't explain yourself in a 60 second short. You just can't. And I've got still called everything under the sun. And you know what? It's your problem at this point, it's not mine. Anyways, guys, enough about that. I'm sorry, rant over. That's been burning on me since I put that out and since those comments has came in. And I generally, like I said, I, I read every comment. I usually don't say too much. If it's bad, I leave it alone. If it's nonsense, I leave it alone. But I just can't believe that people are that naive, that people are that so caught up in this person that's probably not even his real name, to be honest. You read things about him on the internet and believe that it's wholeheartedly true. You know, I'm gonna leave you with this. If the man was all of that, if the man was, and there again, I'm not talking bad about him or the song, but if the man was all of that, when that shooting happened, where was that at, Las Vegas? Why was he the first one to run off the stage? He tucked his tail and ran. He made sure to get his threads off of that stage if he was a true man, he would have been protecting those fans. He would have done everything and anything at all cost with him and his people. But now that didn't happen. So I'm just gonna leave you with that and uh, you do with it what you will. Anyways, guys, I got work to do. Until next time, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Peace. I'm out.